Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, Basil is an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great news out of the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to go right up there. You can see the opening call right there. You can hit view. You can hit subscribe. Basil's newsletter is $128 for one month. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $103 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. Now, when you're over at TFNN, folks, we had our Target All Sale for Memorial Day. Uh, we did extend it just till today because what happened on Friday, we had some uh, problems streaming uh, just about all day long. Uh, so if you uh, do want to save money at TFNN, if you have any subscriptions right now that you're looking to save money, uh, this will be your last day that you can do it until uh, next December because we do these a couple times a year. The way Target dollars work, you can either buy 500, uh, which gets you 600. You can buy uh, 1,000, which will get you 1,300. And you can buy 1,500, which will get to 2,100. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? That's a wonderful opportunity to get a big discount in the market. You don't often get that. And that is no doubt, man. There's no doubt. And, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing that uh, every time we do this, like, we've been doing it a couple times a year now, but it seems like every six months is like, choo, choo, choo. quick. It goes quickly, yeah. Quick. So, what are we looking at here, Basil? Well, we're looking at the Dow. This is the Dow chart on the left is the daily, in the middle is the weekly, on the right is the monthly. Yeah. And uh, as I would mentioned to you a couple of weeks, quite a few weeks ago, uh, for subscribers to my opening call, we went short the day before the uh, recovery high at 26695 on the 23rd of April 22nd. We went short. We've remained short. We've taken some profits, still remain short. One of the reasons is, um, the technicals, you can see how the deterioration in the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence here, uh, this is this particular technical tool I'm outlining. And the one below it in the red and green is the stochastic, and that's only at 32%. I suspect we're going to be going down before we make a really decent tradable low. I suspect we're going down to the teens, maybe even the single digits. So. We're still remaining short, and you can see this. I drew this in to make it much thicker in my show. It seems to be uh, very clear when it comes out when you're looking at it through Tiger TV. The black line is the 14-period exponential moving average. Look how earlier it, we were seeing the Dow and the other indices holding beautifully above that line, and now it's just a tremendous repellent. Every time it touches that line, even today, it tried to touch it with the Dow into 25,717. And that black line is at 25,072, got repelled, and now we're down we're even below the pink line, which is the nine period moving average. So I think that the patterns that, if I can just show you for a second here, patterns we're always looking at is the arch or the cup formation, and you can get a mix of a straight line and then the, the arch formation. If you take out that left side low, you can go quite a bit lower, and we've seen that. Look, this is the same pattern. Oops, let me take that away. Uh, there it is. Now, if you look at this, you'll see the very large arch that I was talking about in, 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 during my show and when I was interviewed by you, and we hit the 200-period moving average. This is the orange line there. We've made another little mini arch formation. So we've got to be real careful because if the Dow goes under 25,385, I think it's a real quick trip to be testing the 25,222 level. That's going to be important. What has concerned me is that the, the weekly chart has been trading under this 14 period moving average since it closed on it four weeks ago. And now this is the third week since then we're under it. So everything I'm looking at says huge move from 21,712 December the 26th up to the high of the 23rd of April at 26,695. The Dow didn't make a new all time high. The, the S&P did just by a couple of points and the NASDAQ did. But the, the Dow has not done that. So I'm thinking that the Dow is now uh, has to do some retesting before it can have a pretty decent rally. And that's important. We are still short the SMHs, which is the, the uh, Semiconductor Market Vectors ETF. The all-time high was 120.71. We are short from the 116s. And we've taken some profits, but remain short. It's down, down at 98. This is not a good sign. So I'll be, I thought I'd mention again, I spoke to you about it last week, I'm the guest speaker at the Boston Investors Group meeting. Oh, good. At, yeah. yeah th that's tomorrow night. Wow, time flies. I know. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Wednesday, May the 29th, 7 p.m. 
It's at MIT Building E51, Room 335, 70 Memorial Drive, Cambridge, Mass. And at this time of the year, the parking should be pretty easy to get. But I'd love to, love to see everyone. It's always really a good turnout. And questions I get, quite a, quite a few people are fundamental analysts, and they, they ask you know, these fundamental questions, which means that I have to do try to do an X-ray of the patient, an MRI in the technical terms, to be able to explain my point of view. So it's always a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of interest in terms of um, the questions that are asked yes. and the, the types of answers. And I'll be talking about uh, you know, the overall market, what I'm anticipating, why I'm still really a mega bull as far as the overall market is concerned, but been for a little while now, shorter term, looking for a more intermediate term pullback, and then we can get started on the upside again. And that's, you know, I also spoke about the dollar. The dollar actually is held very nicely. We are along the dollar from um, April of last year down at 90. And it's trading right now at 90. There's a dollar index trading at 97, 96. Good day today. And it's here again. Look at this black line. This is the 14 period exponential moving average in the daily. Look how it's held in the weekly chart. So I'll be discussing some of the technical tools that I use and how you can make things very easy. I mean, this is a visual you can see. I, I call it walking the, the black line. In this particular case, it's the 14 period moving average. Look how the dollar is just, it hasn't done anything spectacular, but it's just steadily moved up higher highs and higher lows. So I'll be discussing these aspects uh, tomorrow night at uh, the and, and what is the Investors address again? Group. And so what happens here, folks, is that this is really easy to get to, okay? Because I remember going many times myself. And as you're going down Memorial Drive, you're going to be if looking going to your right-hand side west. if you're, if you're coming if you're from the, east. the south. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going on the Memorial Drive and you're going towards town, right. the, the, the exit before you get to the, the downtown exits, there's a little left turn. It goes straight onto, oh, I can't remember the name right now, but it's at 70 Memorial Drive. So the building corner is on Amherst. So you take a left and you That's the one. Park. That's the one they yeah. want. Yeah, because that it's right on it's right that right Kendall at that corner. Square. Exactly. Right. 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 So that's that's the one that makes it much easier. And it's actually these days <laughs> they were doing a lot of work, but now they're finished with the street work, I believe. Cool. Cool. Well, I guess he's <laughs> that's the, our poor internet back and forth. That's our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We do appreciate him growling a problem with us. And remember, folks, you can come over right over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go under newsletters. You go under uh, the opening call. You can order his newsletter right here, right now.